Namaste beautiful yogis. Today I wanted to hop on and uh, do a quick update about uh, my postpartum and just how I'm doing and what I've been using. I'll probably do a, a pregnancy must-haves and, and postpartum must-haves video separately and I'll try to do them pretty soon because I'm sure I'm starting to forget things but I just wanted to do a quick one today and see how it goes because Little Miss Lotus is here and she's been sleeping for the last two hours so we might be getting to her feeding time. Uh, she's a very good sleeper in the morning, like around, she wakes up around 9 and then she can sleep all the way for a while till probably 1, 2 or so. So uh, I figured now is a good time to uh, show the quick uh, postpartum update and how I'm doing and what I'm using and how it's been going. So um, I'm three weeks postpartum last night. It was the third week because I had her in the evening, and um, the recovery has been my recovery has been going pretty quick. I have no other recovery to compare it to, so I I feel like it's been going pretty quick and it's been pretty um, somewhat easy, except for the first five days, which were pretty intense um, and uh, also I will show you what I've been using and what I think it's super uh, super it has been super helpful and uh, we'll take it from there you can post questions below if you want me to talk about specific subjects um, so basically for recovery I'll first touch up on uh, Hi. yes uh, she's gonna talk a lot Th those are her we have conversations ah uh, a eh. Uh, and we continue like that long conversations um, uh, so um, uh, right after I gave birth I for two days I think because uh, I know it's the most important thing is to avoid constipation after birth because all your organs are so shocked by the fast removal of something that grew inside of you for nine months um, uh, and it was a gradual process and all of a sudden you you remove it quickly which kind of shifts your posture because now all of a sudden you, the balance is changed uh, so uh, the one thing you wanna I knew I wanted to avoid and you know you wanna avoid is constipation so I had prepared to eat just apples and dates right after birth and I ate that for probably a then a then half two days maybe uh, because um, these foods are very dense, they'll give me enough energy, um, they have good nutrition, they're very supportive of, uh, for breastfeeding and uh, they won't cause constipation which in general happens from, from the straining of the birthing process. So that was the first thing I did. Um, after that, uh, uh, basically the one thing that I had the most kind of like feeling or uh, um, discomfort with was bladder and I um, I got me this this is UTI clear it's basically it's for UTI but it's in general for bladder and urinary tract herbs that are in glycerin so no alcohol and I use that and it really really helped my bladder to feel to start to recover from the trauma it was pretty my bladder felt pretty traumatized from the birth because the baby goes just through it and in general the bladder has all this weight on it throughout the pregnancy and all of a sudden the rapid removal of that weight it just sends a lot of people's bladders into shock and mine included and it wasn't a pleasant feeling um, this is super concentrated it's a um, two ounce bottle but it's super concentrated so it's 80 servings you have it for quite a while and you just uh, drip uh, a third of a dropper bottle under your tongue and it's really really um, it has a little bit of diuretic properties and it really it really stimulates your bladder and urinary tract to start working properly it's a lot of herbs that are for uh, urinary tract uh, kidneys and bladder butchu uh, berberry yarrow lemon balm old straw st. John's echinacea and bilberry and I had to use it because uh, my bladder needed that support. I've been using also nettle. Again, I I chose to use it in a tincture because I wasn't sure how much time I'll have to brew things, which she has been giving me enough time to brew things. Um, 
and lavender. In the beginning I had all kinds of um, back pain, spine pain, lower back pain, um, obviously contractions and that was very helpful. Breastfeeding has been going great. Uh, I love it. Uh, it's been great. Uh, except for when I transitioned from colostrum to milk, there was pain in that process and I freaked out a little bit uh, thinking this might be a painful experience and it wasn't but uh, I think I researched all kinds of breastfeeding positions, how to make the latch better, how to relax myself and I think me understanding that a little bit of pain is normal made me feel comfortable about the breastfeeding process because I ex assumed okay we're doing fine, we're, it's how it's supposed to be to where if I think oh, something is wrong then I'm tensing and then my probably my breast milk is different, my position is different, the tension translates into the baby, the mouth, the latch, the, the whole thing it becomes um, a ricochet effect between the mother and the baby so me relaxing and also learning a little bit of how to do the breastfeeding positions was very helpful for the breastfeeding to be a positive experience uh, for breastfeeding, I'll show you just the simplest thing ever. I tried in the beginning all kinds of things for the nipples and it ended up that pure coconut oil, this is an amazing coconut oil, a raw cold press and it smells, it smells so good, it smells like coconuts. Um, this one just heals, uh, healed my nipples between the initial feedings like you wouldn't believe it. Now I don't even use it every time after breastfeeding because it healed them so well I mean my nipples look better than before breastfeeding that's how well it worked <laughs> that's the weirdest sentence I've ever said um, so um, uh, that I shouldn't forget about those two uh, I, I've mentioned this before the Arnica Arnica on your tailbone Arnica on your anywhere you have pain over the bladder area helps with pain and quicker healing and I bought this kit it's a homeopathic um, kit for birth and it has 18 remedies inside for anything during before birth during birth and after birth um, so it comes with a little booklet I'll, I'll link it below I got it on Amazon and I'll link everything below because I'm sharing with you the things that were extremely helpful so for example, uh, it, it tells you what to use in what situation. So for example, during birth, if uh, the woman is abusive, use chamomile or however it's pronounced. Um, absence of affection, angry, anxiety, apathy, back pain, bladder, bleeding, uh, cervix, fails to dilate, um, chattering nervously. For all these remedies, there is something. Uh, fear, faintness. Um, contractions um, uh, being a tonic, flabby and weak or um, contractions moving from side to side so forth you get the picture and then after birth it has for a remedy, a remedy for after pain, for anger, for cracked nipples, for cesarean, uh, for epidural, episiotomy, forceps and hemorrhage, too much milk, inflammation of the baby uh, urine retention and so forth. I did have a little bit of urine retention and I used a lot um, a lot of these um, remedies basically for anything I felt for nipple pain for um, just basically I used a, a lot of them after the birth and uh, those are small bottles so basically you get 18 different remedies that you can use for before birth during and after birth uh, so that's about uh, like the things I wanted to share. Also, uh, my um, girdle, I'll um, share that. Um, in, I'll, I'll try to include that either in the description or at the end of the video what girdle I'm using. And I find it to be very helpful. Other than this, um, uh, right now she had about four days of uh, cluster feeding during the night and yesterday was during the day which was so much better and basically it's five hours of non-stop feeding changing hugging feeding changing hugging 
and I my understanding and my intuition is she needs that she needs the contact she needs the small amount of milk it's communicating to my body what to produce and how much and with what uh, nutrition you need to produce so it's probably a quite a magical chemical reaction between me and her with the cluster feeding she's getting a lot of touch um, so I'm just going with it it can get very difficult it got very difficult when it keeps going till 2 or 3 in the morning then I start getting exhausted but she started switching it during the day now so hopefully she will switch her uh, schedule completely now I tried not to wake her up at all when she sleeps a lot like six hours or uh, she's even slept for seven hours and I tried to wake her up to just kind of not let her go for over four hours or three hours without feeding and I'm, I'm kind of torn it just seems like if I don't wake her up she's overall calmer and more rested and it, if I keep waking her up in segments of time it doesn't seem like it makes her sleep more through the night so if you have any suggestions about I'm not gonna be big on scheduling her because I'll follow her cues but I will incorporate a little bit of my guidance if you have any suggestions let me know I know different things work for different people and for different babies and for some people scheduling works like magic for some people feeding on demand I think I'll do a little more I'll do feeding on demand with maybe sometimes trying to do more feeding during the day if she's sleeping. Um, I, I already shot a Meet Lotus video, so I think I'll include her in there, but let's see if we can put the video on her. She's sleeping. Oh, and that's my sea buckthorn juice. She is very sleepy. So I'm not gonna include her now because I don't wanna wake her up. I'll show you my belly and let's see. I think due to the girdle, I think the girdle makes the uterus shrink a little faster. That's kind of my feeling. It's, you can, see, I can see the uterus and it's a little bit, I can feel it. So that's from the side and that's from the front. I didn't get any stretch marks. I didn't get varicose veins, so I, I will probably I did I did things to prevent them. So I'll probably do separate videos because a lot of people ask me if I got stretch marks. Um, at first I wasn't sure if there are stretch marks that I'm probably not seeing, but now I'm pretty sure I didn't get any at all. Um, so I will do a video on what I did to avoid them. I did I did consciously do things to avoid stretch marks. And I did consciously do things to avoid varicose veins, which is also hemorrhoids and varicose veins are going the same deal. So I'll do separate videos on that. Obviously, nutrition and some topical skincare is basically what I did. But I'll do a separate video on that so people can find it when they Google stretch marks. Uh, so that's the belly. Uh, it's still recovering and I'm going back to my girdle because I stopped wearing it and it feels like if I wear it, it presses down on the uterus a little more effectively and also on the tailbone. Um, I feel strong and I feel like I'm recovering well, uh, but I am going to be taking all this time off because I kind of want to do this as, I, I want to rest through this period because I know you can get prolapse uterine or bladder prolapse if you do too much too soon regardless of how you feel and um, oh and uh, one of the beautiful uh, yogis uh, sent us this gift and we just put it up and I love it it's it's gorgeous that's why I'm showing the video here so um, that's one thing I wanted to include for people that are gonna watch this video probably while they're uh, recovering from birth do take the time to rest and if you can hire help bring family to help you or have some help take that help and lay around a lot just feed your baby play with your baby uh, and just try to try to rest even if you don't feel like it because you can overdo it and you can slow down your progress you can strain 
get a prolapsed organ and so forth. Uh, in Chinese medicine, they do confinement uh, periods where the woman is in confinement for 30 days, uh, which is a little extreme because it can lead to depression if you're not going out, not walking, not doing anything. So I'm kind of doing a little bit of both. Uh, my partner has been great. He's been cleaning, uh, vacuuming, uh, cleaning the kitchen, just kind of doing the housework. He took a little time off. and. Um, and his mom was here also uh, to help for two weeks after uh, I gave birth and I just kind of tried to to rest and um, someone asked me a while ago how do I deal with not working out as a person that loves to work out yeah I um, love to work out and to me working out is just like a thing that I enjoy doing it's kind of like it's kind of like a physical, spiritual and emotional and just hygiene need that I have. It's almost like showering. I, and I enjoy working out, not just the after effects of working out, feeling good after a workout, but no, I enjoy the process of working out. But the way I deal with not being able to work out now is to just be present because I will never get to, um, I will never get to experience the newborn stage of lotus again in my life so to me that's a blessing and uh, I will get to work out for the rest of my life so uh, basically I'm just being in the moment and understanding that I will work out when time comes a lot of I do have a lot of essential oils that I probably will include in a blog on my website because I don't want to go through all of them right now but um, there is essential oils for stretch marks and for recovering the perineal area because there is quite a bit of quite a bit of uh, strain and just pressure there after birth and um, so there is like oils that are really good for healing trauma and healing uh, especially if you have uh, stitches and so for helichrysum. Um, frankincense is great, rose geranium is great, frankincense is great even for the baby. Uh, I'll try to include them in a blog post on my website, the essential oils that I found helpful and that I love. Um, and I'm sure I'm forgetting everything right now because, uh, <laughs> uh, because I didn't write anything down and didn't think of exactly what I'm gonna say I figured I just will try to update you on my uh, postpartum recovery what I'm doing and um, I'll try to do some videos about uh, my recommendations uh, and that's about it if you have any uh, suggestions about kind of uh, uh, dealing with cluster feeding I'm not sure if we're done with it yesterday we did it in the afternoon which was much better than at night uh, but if you have any suggestions about that, let me know. Uh, I'll definitely, I definitely can use some suggestions. Otherwise, I've been just watching, watching seasons on um, Netflix of uh, shows. Uh, with breastfeeding, we started using all kinds of positions, laying on my side during the night, so I'm resting. Otherwise, reclining, sitting, sitting in uh, Sukhasana, all those, and that's been very, very helpful. I think me relaxing with the process was the most helpful thing ever. I actually did get mastitis for one day and looked terrible. It was this red hot flaming spot with lumps inside and I immediately jumped on it did a lot of uh, remedies and it healed in one day and disappeared and since then my milk supply regulated but I probably will do a separate video on this because I uh, I feel like I just literally was able to <laughs> to address it immediately with uh, remedies like garlic and hot bottle and so forth so maybe I'll try to do a video on that separately because if someone is googling mastitis it's better to have it in a separate video but I think that's it for now. I'll, uh, I'll, I'm tempted to bring her on camera, but she's, because she's kind of moving around, but she's sleeping. Let's see. I don't like to mess with her. 
Hello, my baby. Hello, my love. So, here she is. I don't think I can wake her up. She's really asleep. You know, it's really difficult to wake up a newborn. Um, we are gaining weight and eating a lot. She was born 7 pounds 11 ounces, which was average and it was good. I was scared she might be a little too big, but she turned out to not be awfully big. And she wasn't too small either. Right in the middle of, of what's considered normal birth weight, so that was... That was okay. Um, I will see you soon with some other videos. Namaste.